Hi everyone, it's Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. My quick tip video for you today is about masking. Isn't this image adorable? It's actually kind of like an aquarium type of view where the fish is forward and the background is in the back. But you're gonna notice there's no layering here. There's been no cutting and no mounting. And I wanna show you how easy this is to create. You'll need to get a post-it note and whatever image you want masked, which means you don't want ink over the top, is what you're gonna stamp. Now you know post-it notes are sticky near the top, so I'm gonna ink up my little angel fish. This is from that brand new stamp set, Seaside Shore, and I am gonna stamp him on my post-it note here. You're gonna take your paper snips, and you are gonna cut this out right on the stamped line, which means you don't want any significant amount of the post-it note showing. Good news about this is once you cut this, you're never gonna have to cut it again because we're gonna save it. And I'm gonna give you a tip, good tip on how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut him all the way out. And I already have one finished just so you don't have to watch me fussy cut it, but just make sure you cut all the way on that color line where you stamped. I'm gonna grab my piece of paper. I'm gonna take my angel stamp again and I'm gonna stamp him where I want him. So let's say this time I want him all the way over here. Okay, so now I have my fish. Now I'm gonna work with the seaweed and I'm gonna use my old olive ink. But we're gonna to have to cover him. We're gonna to have to protect him, right? So this is where the post-it note comes in. This was my original one before the video and I made it blue so that you could actually see that this was the mask and not the actual stamped image. So I'm gonna cover it up as perfectly as I can. You don't have to get too crazy. And I'm gonna stamp seaweed right over him. And I'm gonna stamp some seaweed down here. But normally what would happen, right? He would get covered up and seaweed would be all over his body. But not anymore because of the mask. Let's also add some bubbles. Um, I'd like to give my little fish bubbles. Let's have them coming out over here from all around him. And of course we can have some other places as well. All right, so now he's stamped. But let's take off the mask. So you're gonna carefully peel off the mask from the post-it note, which is gonna leave you your image. Look at, do you see how it's forward? All I did with this one was I took the pumpkin pie marker and I colored in the other areas. And of course you can color any color you want, but isn't that cool? You get that 3D effect without any cutting out or mounting with dimensionals so it's nice and flat. Here's one more for you. I'm gonna give you one other example. This time I'm using soft suede. This is from the stamp set called Wetlands. I want my duck here. Now I have him already cut out because I've used him many times and I'm gonna cover him up. So I never got rid of that. That's the other great thing about this. And here is Delightful Dijon, and this is gonna do my seagrass, or my weeds, I guess, however you wanna call them. And I'm gonna stamp those right over him. And again, you can put as many or as little as you want, depending on how you're gonna use it. And we're gonna remove the mask that I've made. And look, again, he is in the foreground. So here were the ones we made before, and here is this one. Now. Guess where these pieces go? I saved these little post-it note pieces right inside my stamp set so that they're always accessible for me to use. So my fish will go inside my seaside shore and of course my little duck will go inside my wetland so that I can use them over and over again to create this fun 3D masked look. 